Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant, today's video we're going to talk about one of the most popular cameras on my YouTube channel. A camera that I always get asked about, should I get one, is it good for this, is it good for that, and heading into 2024, why the Panasonic G85 is still a great option, even if you buy it second hand or if you buy it new, straight off the shelf. Let's roll that intro, let's get straight into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, the Panasonic G85. This camera right here is one of the most popular cameras on my YouTube channel. I continually get asked about this camera, what it's good for, should I purchase it, is it good for this style of photography, can it do this in video, a whole heap of questions. However, I have contemplated selling it um, from time to time, especially over the last couple of months. You know, I've been eyeing off the S5 Mark II and I've been wanting to add a full frame camera into my uh, current lineup, but there's something and a reason, I don't know what it is, makes me hold on to the Panasonic G85. And I've got three core cool reasons why the Panasonic G85 still is a great option for anyone out there considering getting into uh, mirrorless territory or micro four thirds cameras. Headed into 2024, we have a plethora of cameras to choose from, full frame, uh, APS-C Micro Four Thirds. Why should you pick up the Panasonic G85, a five year plus camera in 2024? Let's get into it, reason number one. Okay, first reason why the Panasonic G85 is still awesome is the images, man. 16 megapixel camera still delivers great images, especially paired up with the right lens. It is a powerhouse when it comes to photography and stills. Um, the colors, the look of the files that come out of this camera are always awesome. The raw files have heaps of room to play with in post, but the JPEGs that come out of this camera, especially if you tweak the in-camera profiles, you can get great results straight out of camera, no editing, shoot and share. And as I said, if you pair this camera up here with the right lens, I love the 12 to 60, f2.8 to f4, variable aperture zoom lens, it's a Panasonic Leica lens. Um, this lens paired up with this camera really is a match made in heaven. Super well um, balanced on this camera and we're gonna talk about that more later. But this camera combo is great and always delivers great results. The colors are vibrant, uh, super sharp, saturated goodness, oh, I love it. And you know, you wouldn't think that with a 16 megapixel camera, especially, you know, we're up to like a million megapixels now with cameras. Um, the 16 megapixel sensor in this camera paired up the right lens still does deliver great results. And you know, it is a question I get a lot, you know, is the Panasonic G85 good for photography? Well, I'm telling you right now, it is great for photography. You know, I've had this uh, camera now for just over a year. And as I said, it's been on the chopping block a lot lately. Um, however, when I go back and revisit the files in Lightroom that um, this camera provides, it always makes me want to hold on to it. Okay, second reason, hybrid camera. This is a great hybrid camera. Photos and videos, you can't go wrong with the Panasonic G85. I always get asked by budding videographers, and look, I'll just quickly say I am more of a photographer. However, a lot of questions come in about the Panasonic uh, G85. Is it good for video? Is it good for doing film clips? You know, nature photography, automotive photography, lifestyle content, content creation, all that sort of stuff. And yeah, the question is, it is a great video camera for all that sort of thing. Once again, paired up with the right lens, you really can't go wrong. Features like the image stabilization, slowing down that shutter speed, the flip out screen, you know what I mean? All that sort of stuff. It's absolutely great for content creation and videography. I know a lot of people that rig these things up with small rig cages and stuff like that, get great balancing all the add-on attachments and everything like that. Fantastic stuff. For travel, photo and video, it is one of the ultimate Micro Four Thirds cameras, in my opinion. The battery life is great on the Panasonic G85. One battery will keep you going forever. And the aftermarket batteries you can get are great. 
just go on eBay, buy a few of those, shove them in your camera bag, you'll never run out. But anyway, let's wrap this up on this point. Video quality with the Panasonic G85 is superb. I highly, highly recommend it. Yes, it is another reason why I am holding onto this camera heading into 2024. Okay, third and final reason why the Panasonic G85 is still awesome and great. And I must say, I could probably make a list of 100 points why the Panasonic G85 is awesome. However, the third and final reason is, is the handling. It is a great handling camera. For a small little body, it fits perfectly in the hand. All the buttons, all the dials are where they need to be. It's super tactile. There's limited menu diving because every button does something where it needs to be. If you want to switch between settings, modes, that sort of thing, switch between photos, switch between video, it's just a clip of a button or a click of a dial. And as I said before, it is great for travel, photo and video. This little thing packs down so small in a little travel bag, it's great. Um, for me, I'm going to Launceston in a couple of weeks with the family um, for a holiday. Um, this will be my B cam. I'm gonna take my Panasonic GX9 as well for all my street photography stuff. But those two cameras fold down into a tiny little bag, a couple of lenses, awesome stuff. So the size and the handling, the form factor of the Panasonic G85, essentially it is a shrunken down uh, DSLR camera. Really can't be beat. And as I mentioned before, the stabilization is great. You can customize the heck out of this thing, really make it your own. But for me, there really is one con with the Panasonic G85. Well, two really, but the main one is, and it holds me back from using this more on sort of paid client gigs, one card slot. If it had two card slots, it really would be a super tiny, awesome powerhouse of a camera for both personal stuff and professional work. That redundancy factor, man, I love to have two card slots. If people are paying me to deliver work, I want a backup. The other thing is you have to be wary of with the Panasonic G85 is it is a micro four thirds camera. So it is a smaller sensor. You really gotta know what you're doing in low light situations, slowing down that shutter speed, but you know, the image stabilization, stabilized lenses will help out in that sort of world. However, you know, smaller sensor, low light conditions, mm, you know, G85 could struggle potentially in that scenario. But any skilled photographer or videographer can make any piece of gear work. But yeah, that's about it. The Panasonic G85, as I said, is one of the most popular cameras on my YouTube channel. People love this camera. They continue to buy it, both new and secondhand. And let's just quickly talk about price while I gotcha. You can pick these things up new here in Australia for under $1,000 with the kit 12 to 60 variable aperture lens, not the Leica one, but the Lumix one. And I think most of the time they're also throwing in the 25 mm f 1.7 prime lens as well. So how good's that? Small camera, two small lenses, you're good to go. So there you have it. Let me know what you think. Um, are you thinking about getting a Panasonic G85 in 2024? I recommend it. Comments and queries below. And if you like this sort of thing, please do consider subscribing to the channel. That helps me out a lot. Big thumbs up for the video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.